Today we are going to be taking question 23 on our machine learning question and answer series and my name is Kainton the Tech Pro as you know so the, today's question will be how can you minimize misclassification in a classification model. So remember my objective is for you to learn the concept. So let's get started by explaining this uh, question and then give the answer first. Let's remember that misclassification occurs when an observation is assigned to the wrong class. So let's take, for instance, we have two classes, C1 and C2. I have set of observation X, which is given by X1, X2, all the way to Xn. So for each observation X, you need to assign it to either C1 or C2. So you can say X1 maybe is assigned to C1, x2 is assigned to c2, x3 is assigned to c2, and so on. So for each observation, there must be a class they belong. Now, if an observation belongs to a class and you assign it to the wrong class, then a misclassification occurs. So if x1 belongs to c2, you assign it to c1, that is when misclassification occurs. All right, so let's take the formal explanation, it says for a set of observation X and classes CK, we have CK, for K is equal to one or two, we find the joint probability of assigning the observation X to classes CK, and this is given by probability, joint probability of X and CK. All right, so what we are saying is that what we are going to do is to find the joint probability of X and C, K, right? So in this case, we can have that probability is probability of X and C, K. So basically, this probability is the probability that we assigned uh, the, 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 the class X Let's, let's say xi, so that we'll be able to know that this we are talking about individual observations. The probability that x belongs to a class ck. So this probability is, in very, is very important because if there is a high probability that x belongs to class ck, then most likely we are assigning it to the right class. Now from Bayes' theorem, we can find joint probability using the formula. I'm going to write it out. So we have joint probability is given by X and CK is given by uh, uh, the conditional probability of CK given X times the marginal probability of X, okay? So misclassification can be minimized if X is assigned to the class that has the largest posterior probability P of CK given X. So at this point, remember that, let's, let me just write it out. So we have P of, uh, P, P of X, so let's, let's expand it to have P of uh, X given X and CK is the same as P of CK uh, given X. And that is the same as, that would be the same as this. So it's the same as this, and that will be the same as uh, P of X CK P of CK. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but now what we are saying is that and I can also write this in the same way P of uh, CK given X. So this is the same. So misclassification can be minimized if X is assigned to the class that has the largest posterior probability, P of CK given X. So you now, so we have, let me try to cycle the, 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 so this probability that X belongs to a class CK after measuring the value of X is called posterior probability. So that this time is called posterior probability. 
So for us to minimize misclassification, we need to assign x to a class with the highest posterior probability, p of ck given x. So that is how to minimize misclassification in a classification model. And I'm going to stop here. Again, uh, the, the points are very clear. Try to read and be able to explain it in your own world. Sometimes I may not be able to explain it perfectly, but I've taken some time to write out the clear explanation here so you can actually read it and understand it and be able to explain it in your own words because that is my objective. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. And also do leave me a comment if there is a comment, uh, something you would like to let me know. That if this video has been informative for you, and feel free to share it around uh, with others who may want to learn or improve their skills in machine learning and data science.